Hello everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions. Sorry, I just got home after going to the store. We were I was planning on making not from scratch, but homemade pancakes with the mix for dinner, and those were always so good. Yum 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 mm, with nice syrup on it. Oh, it's so good. Sorry, it's so, it's so good. I always enjoy... You can't go wrong with pancakes. You can have those for breakfast, lunch, or even dinner, which I'm that's what we're planning on doing. So I went to the store and grabbed what I needed. Anyway, this is going to be my review for Tokyo Ghoul Episode 1. Yes, I started Tokyo Ghoul a lot earlier than I had planned on it. I'm weak. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait. But that does not mean I'm picking up One Piece anytime soon. Because that freaking anime in itself is probably longer than... I don't know if it's possibly longer than all the anime that I've watched put together. Because you got to include Naruto and Naruto Shippuden and Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, all that into the mix. Maybe I should just count what I've already watched so far, not counting what the whole thing is going to be, because then it might not encompass it all, but it does definitely count all that I've watched combined, and even then it's still not all the way up to one piece of the number of episodes. So... Actually? Let me think. Uh... I might have to go through all my videos and see which ones were gameplay videos and which ones weren't because if I took away all the gameplay videos it might actually be more than what I've already done for One Piece so far because One Piece has over 900 episodes in the, in the sub and is still going. The dub is lagging far behind on that. It's only got like 500 something episodes. So yeah it's probably gonna get to a thousand episodes before it even finishes. I doubt it's going to finish at this point. What the heck? They're milking this show for all it's worth. Anyway, enough about that. Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, I just watched the episode. Hang on. Hang on. Let me look up the character's name. I just need to look the character's name. Kaneki. That's what his name is. I do, uh, as for whether I refer to somebody with their surname or their first name, it, it could be either way for me. Just which uh, which I can remember easier, essentially, is why I, is how I go. Anyway, uh, yeah, Kaneki is wanting to find a love, a uh, girlfriend, essentially. Can't blame the guy. He's a nice. He seems like a nice guy. He seems like someone I would go out with because he likes books. He likes good food. So far as as the stuff we know about him, anyway. And actually, when I was recording the episode, I did pause the episode to add my two cents into it. If you guys want me to do that from now on, because that would make it a little bit more like criticism. To be completely honest with you guys, and if you guys want me to do that, and just break it up into parts. Actually, I could do that. Here's what I propose, you guys. Actually, I'll mention this. I'll make a video on this because, like I said, hardly anybody will watch this far into the episode or the video before going on to the episode or whatever. So I'll just make a video on this and ask you guys about it. Anyway, uh, yeah, the poor guy is trying to find a love. Best friend is kind of dissing his plan. What he was planning on doing, which was taking the girl to. Uh, to a bookstore. Not that that's not a bad idea, especially if the girl likes books. And they showed the girl, and I was like, ooh. Because I know the synopsis of this show. Well, before I started watching it, at the very least, I know what happens to him, and I was like, ooh, and why that girl, not that girl, no. 
but she seemed nice and I was like why why does she have to be nice it just sucks even more for what she does to him. They go on a date, and it goes well, though she isn't eating her food, which should be a big red flag. Because earlier in the episode, some guy in a mask encounters a woman who made me think of this woman eating dead bodies. That was a ghoul. So they showed off what a ghoul is. They feed on human flesh and they cannot stand human food. They find it, they t it tastes disgusting to them. Which uh, makes sense, but that essentially is a telltale sign of a ghoul. So you would think they'd be able to hide that better, though in the second episode it kind of does. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway. <sighs> That's the big thing in being able to tell a ghoul from a regular human. They can't eat human food. So, other than that, they can blend into humans really well to the fact that, or to the point that Kaneki did not know that his little love interest was a ghoul. And they actually had a decent time, and I was like, oh, maybe this will go well. Though I, I knew better. I really knew better. And he walks her home, you know, considering the whole ghoul attacks that have been going on. Makes sense. He's a gentleman. And she gets his hopes up that he uh, she might like him in more than just a want to be friends way. Oh no. She liked him as in, liked him as a next meal. She tries eating him. She gets a taste of him, and, um, he obviously tries to get away, which I think any human would, uh, do the same thing, and I got a little bump right here, I'm trying to get at it, I don't know where these bumps are coming from, but, yeah. Anyway, he obviously tries to get away, he gets injured badly, to the point where it kills him, or appears to kill him anyway. But the funny thing is, is that an accident happens where a bunch of beams fall on her and crush her. They are both brought to the doctor's office. They are both brought to the hospital. And normally, when you need to do an organ transplant to save somebody, you need to notify, you know, the next of kin. Or, uh, I think that's what they were, t they were essentially talking about that. While he was in limbo, because I knew he was in limbo because she was there too. And he gets an organ transplant to save his life. He wakes up, and they transported her organs into him. Oh, God. Oh, the ghoul from earlier, yes, that was Ray, I think. And she had gotten away before. Uh, here's the thing, though. He is now not human anymore. He is now half ghoul. And now he can't stomach the food that he loved so much. And he has no idea why. Because he kind of uh, forgot what had happened. I guess the trauma of what happened made him forget. Which, it makes sense. You block out something traumatic like that. Later on, after he's discharged, he's listening to the news. And he finds out that, yes, that ghouls cannot stomach human food. They find it disgusting. And he was realizing, wait, that's how I've been feeling. And he is, you know, panicking at this point, trying to essentially push down those, push down it into a denial and trying to stomach all the food that his friend had brought for him, including his favorite burger. None of his food, including that burger, tasted good to him. He threw it all up. And he is mentally and probably physically freaking out at this point, which I do not blame him at all. This is turning his world into hell, essentially. And, yeah, it gets to the point where, uh, he can't eat anything, and he's obviously hungry, and a hungry ghoul is not a good thing. Because I can, th I'm kind of thinking this akin to, uh, animals, where they get, uh, feral animals essentially, where they get hungry, 
they'll attack whoever they can, whenever they can, no matter who it is. They could attack their best friend and not even realize it until it's too late. Um, that's kind of, kind of foreshadowing a little bit next episode, but anyway. He's trying to obviously push down those feelings of, you know, wanting to eat somebody until it gets to the point where it's a little too much for him and he ends up smelling something and thinking it smells amazing, so he follows the smell. He comes across another ghoul who is eating somebody and the guy is nice. He offers him, hey, you hungry? And he offers him some of it, but he ends up getting killed in the process by another ghoul who claims that the guy is in his territory. And he attacks Kaneki and Kaneki tries to tell him, no, I'm human, I was just passing through. And the guy obviously doesn't believe him, especially considering only one of his eyes is red, whereas normally two of them are. So it's something they'd never seen before. And that girl from the coffee shop that was early in the episode that his friend tried to hit on and she ran off. Yeah, she shows up and we find out that she is a ghoul too and she chases off the other guy and tells him to go on ahead and eat because if he doesn't, it's just going to get worse and worse for him until he snaps and finally attacks somebody. He's obviously still in denial about this. He doesn't want to, but he kind of doesn't have any choice at this point. So, she takes the initiative and forces it into his mouth. So he has to eat it, and he obviously doesn't like it. Well, it's not that he didn't like it as in he didn't taste good. He didn't like it because he doesn't want to be a ghoul. He wants to be human like he was the rest of, you know, his whole life. Oh, boy. I feel bad for the guy. One day turned his life into a living hell. It goes to show, essentially, that if you see somebody not wanting to eat their food at all, eat any food at all, you might want to be careful. At least in that show, anyway. Because that's a clear sign that the person's possibly a ghoul. Anyway, yeah, I am enjoying the show so far. And I will get this edited and uploaded as soon as I can if the stinking website will work the way it's supposed to. If it does, you guys will see it. If not, I'll get it up eventually. Anyway, I will see everybody next time.